<laughs> it is up here. So, but anyway, so you're sitting with yeah. your team. How are you coaching them on follow-up and how are you coaching them on the concerns, how overcoming the objections and concerns that buyers and sellers have right now? Can I be real direct with this group? Yep. This last year has probably been one of the hardest with our agents that started in the chaos because when the chaos happened, right? When the chaos happened, we're in and By a chaos, you mean the this this the pandemic hits and then yes. the business just goes phew like that. 100% inventory right. dropped business was all over the place. So when they, and the bulk of our real, the bulk of our team started during that time. So during that time, I, we always say like we were on a boat and fish were just jumping in our boat, right? If we could get in front of a lead that day and show them a property, we were really good at winning in the multiple offer situation. We had all kinds of strategies, like easy. And then last May in our market, when the shift happened and it happened real quick by like June, summertime, we were through and we moved into our mega agent office in July. Oh, that was fun. Um, we re it was really hard because now they actually have to follow up with people, right? They don't meet someone on a Tuesday and are pending with an $800,000 house on Wednesday and it's cash, no contingency. So they close two, two weeks later, right? Like those days were gone and it was really a very big mindset shift for like we I've been through a shift. I'm I'm okay, I understand it. But it was a really big mindset shift for them that they truly have to show up and follow up. Like not everybody's ready right now and build a pipeline. We talk about like our pipeline funnel and they hated it. And we fought with them for months about it. And we in the nicest way possible. But we actually lost a lot of agents through that. I think we probably lost five, six, seven that just didn't want to show up and do the work, right? Like we have so many leads that come into our real estate team. Like we've got an abundance of leads and some are ready right now. And some are going to require some follow-up and some are going to require some love. And they just weren't ready to get through that. So it took us a really difficult couple of months to, for the agents to self-discover themselves off the team. And for us to bring in some different agents that understand that the market is not as easy as it was. And we really teach, we talk about care and candor with our, um, with our David and I to our team members, right? As the team owners, we're teaching that to our agents right now to be speaking to their clients that way, because I kind of joke, but in our market, sellers still think it's pandemic time and there should be a line of cars out their driveway and they should have 12 offers and go a hundred grand over list price, right? Yeah, Mimi, you hear me. I see you nodding. Yeah. So sellers still think it's that and buyers are waiting for the market to crash and for everything to fall apart. So what we've done, and it's been really helpful, is every Tuesday at our team meeting, we pull up a graphic of the market. And so we know how many contracts our market wrote last week, how many new listings came on the market, and what our inventory is. So I can confidently say to sellers at my listing appointment today, like, look, our market in general writes 500 contracts a week. We normally bring on between four and 600 new listings. We write about 500 contracts a week. There's 5,000 active listings. So yes, there are buyers there, but there's more competition than ever. And when we have a buyer that's waiting for the market to crash and for everything to go crit, right? We can say, look, buyers are writing 500 contracts a week in our market. So what's making you think the market's gonna, what, what you hear in here? What do you think the market's gonna do? So the other thing too, guys, is regardless of where our clients are getting their news sources from, like right here, I'm sitting in downtown Sarasota. It's completely sunny, blue sky. Two miles away, it can be a torrential downpour. Is that not true, right? Like the Absolutely, 100%, yes. Crazy. It's like that in neighborhoods too. And so we really need to know our market in general. We really need to know the neighborhoods we're working in because this neighborhood could be right. Houses could be selling like hotcakes in this one, but in this one, it's a little slower. So please know your data. Know it enough that every single week you can speak intelligently about it, about it because data is what overcomes objections, is what overcomes those objections, right? When you can physically show them, we wrote 507 contracts last week. Inventory is here. There were this many new listings. That really helps. So data really helps overcome objections. Okay, so 